The enemy is disarmed. Colossians chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. The Apostle Paul, in these two verses that we read, is describing for us what the Lord Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross when he was crucified. He tells us, first of all, in verse 14, that uh, the, the letter of the law, uh, the requirements that were against us, all our failures, our inability to keep the law, he dealt with on the cross. He took it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. But then in verse 15, Paul tells us that Jesus also dealt with principalities and powers. Now, in, in, in the Apostle Paul's writings, if you look at his writings carefully, he refers to uh, demonic powers as principalities and powers. If you, you know the familiar verse in Ephesians 6 where Paul says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spirits of wickedness in heavenly places. So he's talking about the hierarchy in Satan's kingdom. And what he's telling us here in Colossians 2 verse 15 is that the Lord Jesus disarmed these principalities and powers. Now think of an enemy that has been disarmed. It means this enemy is toothless. This enemy is powerless, has no more weapons against uh, to fight with. That's what Jesus did. He disarmed the principalities and powers and he made a public show. He put them on public display. He took them on a procession, so to speak, in the spirit realm, having triumphed over them on the cross. So the, clock, the cross was a place of great triumph where the Lord Jesus Christ ran, disarmed the principalities and powers and he stripped them of their authority and power over those who will believe in Jesus Christ. So now you and I, as people who believe in Jesus, who belong to the Lord Jesus, this is how we must view the enemy. This is how, what the enemy is before us, a disarmed enemy. We're not saying the enemy does not exist. We're not saying this hierarchy is not there. We're not saying they still, they're still they not going to try their wicked maneuvers. The Bible says we are in a battle. We are wrestling against them. But the fact is that through the cross, Jesus disarmed them. He stripped them of their powers. So when you look at the enemy, you are fighting against an enemy that has been disarmed. So there is no need for fear. There is no need to magnify what the devil will try to do. There is no need to elevate him or his demon spirits beyond, uh, you know, in it to give them any kind of place of importance. But you and I can walk in the authority and the victory of Jesus Christ over this, these powers of darkness. Let's pray. Father, we ask that as believers, you will help us understand what Jesus has done to the enemy on our behalf and that we will walk in his finished work on the cross. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.